when you're replacing the helping verb or the sense verb or another verb with something else. It makes the writing more exciting and more interesting. Okay? Here's another example. And I want to ask you some questions, actually. So in this sample, in this sample, you have Mr. Johnson is a teacher. So other way to write this differently, maybe with the predicate non-musician, is to change the word. This one right here. Still the same sentence, you still have your subject, you have your verb, and you have your object. <coughs> so for the subject, it equals a teacher, that means that becomes the object. Okay? Still a verb. So this one replaced that one. And that's pretty good nominative. So every time you have one of these verbs, you identify the subject, you identify the object and you find out what the verb is, okay? So when we identify them. I'm going to put a couple more samples in there. Now I want you to tell me what it was. Okay, and if you don't know, look on the board what they say over there. Okay, so let's identify. Who is the subject in this one? Curtis. How do you know that? Because we're talking about Kurt's day. Okay, so where's the verb? Uh, is is the yeah. verb, right? Good job. Yeah. Okay, and what is the object in this one? Uh, truck. Truck. So how would you say that differently? Miss Kelly, you want to help us out? How would you change that? Kurt's favorite toy is his truck. Are you trying to replace the verb? Yeah. Okay, so guys, think of other verbs that you can <laughs> say instead of is about Kurt's favorite toy. It's actually not that easy of an example for me. All right, so maybe I should make it a little bit easier one. What, what, what? And you have, because I, you could rewrite the entire sentence, right? Yeah. No, we just want to replace it. Let's but if you're just trying one. to replace it, it's harder. Let's do a different one. That was a little too hard. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pick one from here. Okay. So, guys, one of the things that you're looking for when you're replacing this verb might be thinking of action. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Sorry. Actually, let's go directly to identifying because I think you figured this out because that's what yeah. this book most, mostly wants to turn to page 40. Mm -hmm. Page 40 in that book. It says there, read each sentence, work through the first sentence with your teacher, use context to decide if the underlined noun is a subject, direct object, or predicate nominative. But an X in the appropriate box. So basically what they're asking to do is what we did over here, over here earlier. Identify the subject, if it has a subject, direct object, or predicate nominative. How do we know that's the predicate nominative? nominative? Okay. Remember, if the predicate nominative replaces one of these verbs, so it's a verb in a sentence, but it's not a helping verb, it's not sense verb, or it's not other verbs, okay? And then subject was what? What does it say? What does subject do? It answers the question. It answers the question. What did he, she, or do? Okay, and direct object is what? Answers the question, right? 
but did they, he or she do it too? Okay, so let's try the number one. The young boy, Raymond has a number of problems. So the word number, is it a subject, direct object, or predicate nominative? What? Why would you say it's a subject? Who's the subject in the sentence? The young boy, Raymond, has a number of problems. The young boy, Raymond, that would be the subject, right? So what's the verb in that one? <coughs> Has, right? So the number would be what? It if it's Raymond enough. has what? Number of problems, that would be a direct object because it tells you exactly has number. Okay, number would be the direct object. Okay, the next one. His sister is his babysitter. How do you know it's predicate nominative? Nominative. His sister is his babysitter. Okay? He's replacing something. Okay? And number three, the children in the neighborhood make fun of Raymond. The underlying word is what? It's the subject, right? Because who made fun of the Raymond children. in the neighborhood? The children did. Okay. Number four, Squeaky will defend her brother against everyone. Okay. Squeaky will defend. Who is the subject? Brother. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, Squeaky. Squeaky. Because of why? What did he or she do? Answers the question, right? What did Squeaky do? What was the verb? He did what? Squeaky did what? What's the verb? Squeaky did what? Squeaky defended. 